hard to see but it's nighttime but we got some snow so we're going to flash up the old Massey and we're going to have at her nighttime plowing nothing better let's go so we're starting off here in the shop the tractor started right up that was nice to see eh? and then we're going to start heading out and see what this snow is like for plow put a, a camera over by uh, where I parked the car just to get a view of the tractor plowing in the dark it looks so nice the lights on there from the dark <laughs> so here's the first push across the landing and uh, I have the plow and float because I don't want it to dig right into the gravel, but I want it to uh, shave down pretty close to the gravel. So I, r I run it float. For this whole job, I think I have it float. So when the cross here, the first cut, I was in low gear. So just that little pause there, I was putting it in high gear. Back up now, back into the shop. Kind of windy then, this night too, because uh, and it was cold. I think it was about minus seven, but then the wind was blowing, so that made it even colder. But I was warm in the cab, no problem there. Even though there's no heat, it don't get cold when you're in the cab, it seems. So I'm just making a couple of cuts here to clear off the landing, so I'll have some room to maneuver when it comes time to turn the tractor and go up the lane, or go down by the play set, or go down by the fire pit. So spend a little bit of time cleaning up here, and then. Of course, while I'm cleaning in front of the shop, I'm just going to push it right across the landing and into the bank. I find uh, when I'm plowing the landing, because the landing is so big, it looks like uh, a real mess until I get you know, a bunch of passes over to clean up all the windrows and everything. So these first few cuts are just meant to, to move bumps of snow, bumps and all the snow. That does look nice, I think, with the lights and the tractor going through there. I don't know what it is about it, but it just makes it look nice. So push another big blade full of snow down there into the corner. My uh, work lights on the uh, front of the tractor there, well, the one on the back does too, but you see there's yellow spots in the middle of where they shine? They were like that since the start. I don't know what causes that. But, uh, there's two yellow spots there. I'm going to push another one through here. And I got that stump right there on the left. And boom. See that? <laughs> we pile rocks around it in the summer so that cars won't run into it. So then when we plow it, it's hard to tell exactly where the rocks are. But I know where they are now because they just dumped the, <laughs> they're here dumped the whole lake of snow off there. Anyway, I'll be able to put that in my memory bank and watch out for that when I plow near it. So now I think we're going to take a shot out the lane. So there she goes. I think that's a nice scene. I don't know what it is, but it just looks nice with the lights in the dark. I like it. So the way I plow my lane, it takes about uh, probably, well, four trips total to get the lane clear because as you see here, I'm going down the uh, right hand side first off, like great. Right tied up against the edge. You see here this tree that marks the edge of the lane and I just missed that tree. But I go down the edges first so I plow out to the road on this edge and then when I get out the road I'll turn around and come back up to the other edge. Oh and the reason I stopped there is because I was uh, putting out in high high gear and then I had to stop in low gear to go up this hill. Probably hear me throttling up a bit here too. Plus put the diff lock, lock in. Uh, that's quite a little steep hill. It doesn't show uh, as steep as it is really on the video, but it is quite steep. So throttle up a little bit, put the diff lock on, go in low gear. So we push that right across the road. Then I come around now and I'll get set up and then I'll make a run in on the other side. So I plow both uh, of the banks first. And the reason I do that is because as the snow builds up, uh, it makes big snow banks. And it's hard to get the snow to go over the snow bank. So I find when I plow the edges first, then I can set the width of the lane. And then uh, I'll come back and do the center part. I'll make a run out and then back in and do the center. And then I'll go out and back in again and do the edges. 
just to make sure that the snow banks don't get so big that the driveway starts to narrow up on us. I find it better to do that, to do the edges first, and then plow the center out, and then go back and do the edges again. So we're coming up here, and I'm going to take a turn down and go down in by the playset here. And again, this is just mainly pushing snow out of the way, not really plowing for neatness, just plowing to move snow first off. But I do come back later and clean it up. Uh, all told, I was probably an hour and 45 minutes plowing the lane uh, here this night. So later on in the video here, we do a lot of cutting and, uh, you know, paste because <laughs> I didn't think you'd want to see an hour and 45 minutes to be plowing snow. So we cut out some of the new boring parts. Anyway, here we go now. I'm going to go out now and do the center. Uh, the center off to the edges, and then I'll come back later. I don't know whether I left that in the video or not. I'll come back later and do the edges again. So the snow was nice for plowing. Uh, it was rolling off the blade nice. It was, uh, like you say, it was pretty cold, minus 7 I think. And the snow was nice and dry, so it plowed nice. So we're just starting up that hill again. And there you can hear me throttling up right there. And then our good neighbors will plow the road, left the snowbank there for me, but that's no problem. I can push through that. I don't really pound away the snowbank since the neighbors plow the road. That looks so good, I think. I, uh, I used to plow the road a lot, uh, but now there's more people living on the lake, more people with tractors, so they all tend to take their turn here in the road. That's really nice. It's a good neighborhood we have because everybody kicks in and helps with whatever needs to get done. So you see here now I'm finishing off the center and uh, I'm going to have to go do the edges again because you see on the left hand side there especially, uh, you know, I just put in a little snow left. So I don't think I show it, but I go back out and do the edges again. At least one more trip out and back in. But for now, I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to go down here and plow in front of the shop and then go down by the fire pit. side of the camp and then around the front and then you see the head back through there. So he was doing the rounds. I think it was a fox. I never saw it so I'm not sure. But, you know, that's what so here we're back down by the playset because I cut over a bunch there down down by the fire pit. But we're down in by the playset. I just like to push the snow out of here because that gives me a, an extra parking place there in front of the playset. In case we, we need it. So it's always nice to have places to put vehicles. I apologize for that, uh, just above the snow blade there, there's a, must have been a snow flake or something but on the, the camera lens, it's just kind of blurred out. So now we're just pushing snow uh, across the landing, and uh, this is, uh, I'm trying to clean up a little bit more here than just push snow, so I'm taking half cuts. Now, I would like to get, uh, at some time, I'd like to put wings on my snow blade. And uh, if you ever check out Dave at RCAF Polar Express, or Joe at, uh, from Steel to Wood, uh, Joe made some wings for his blade and also for Dave's blade. And the wings are really, really nice. And it certainly helps when you're plowing in wide open space like this, because it keeps the snow on the snow blade, and it doesn't fall off the sides as much. So you don't make the windrows because what I have to do here is I have to angle my blade and make multiple passes in order to get rid of the window. So if I had wings, it would work pretty good. But uh, I also need to angle my blade when I'm plowing, so I want to have the wings that are removable. So I have a little bit of design work to do before I put that mod. I was going to do it last summer, but uh, things got busy, didn't get to it. So here we're plowing in front of the step. 
uh, down by the fire pit. Just gonna make a couple of passes in there just to try to clean it up a little. And then one more push, I think I'm gonna rake down in here by the trail. You see snow falling off the left and right hand side of the blade there, so the, that means you have to make another pass to clear up that windrow. So the wings would prevent that, or lessen it at least. So then I just finished clearing up that windrow, and now you see the windrow is still there on the left, but I just made that cut through there to clean up the windrow on the right. So uh, the last little while I'm going to keep the tractor in the shop. So I have to go down now and clean up by the temporary shelter. So the only way I can figure to do that is go in and uh, back drag with the blade. So I go in and I set the blade down and I don't put it in float here. And I, matter of fact, I put a little bit of down pressure on the blade just to make sure that I drag the snow, clear the snow out good. So two or three passes here to get the bulk of that snow out of there. I think I'll be putting the tractor back in the shelter here pretty soon though. But, uh, I have a little bit of maintenance to do with the tractor. I have to uh, change the fuel filter for one thing, so that'll be an upcoming video. <laughs> Just a warning. <laughs> so the blade's not really meant for back dragging. Uh, it doesn't clear, like, break down in the gravel so well, but, you know, it, it, it works in a fashion to get rid of the snow there in front of the shelter. So. And of course, while I'm back up here, I'm using my rear view camera. So we cleared away in front of the shelter. Now I'm going to clear, I've moved the car out of the way. I'm going to clear where I parked the car. <coughs> so you see here, I'm going in front there by the uh, back walk. And then I angle the blade towards the camp so I can push the snow up against the uh, skirting. Our camp is just on posts, and the skirting is wide open, and the wind just whistles through under the camp. So if I pile the snow up there, uh, it tends to keep the floor of the camp warmer. Like our camp is not cold, that's for sure, but this uh, helps keep the floor a little bit warmer by banking the snow around the camp. So that's the purpose for that. Now you see I just made another cut there, but I have another windrow right here next to to the first cut I made, so I'm going to push that in against the camp too, just to get more some snow, to get some more snow in there. There you go. Okay, so then we finish clearing up that parking spot, and here I'm just making the last cut here, and then pushing the snow on the corner, pushing the snow up into the garden there, so that it can be uh, out of the way and have a nice angled turn there. Now there's still lots of snow left on the landing there in front of the fence and in front of the well. So now we're going to uh, go to work and try to clean that up. So, and, and this is where it would be really nice to have the winds because this is just a wide open spot that I'm trying to clear. And uh, you know, the wings would certainly hold the snow on the blade better than, than having no wings. I'm just piling the snow up there because I'm going to push all that down in back by the playset. I'm going to make a couple of cuts here, just cleaning up the landing. And it usually takes like five or six trips back and forth here to get rid of all the windrows that are moved behind. But when I'm finished, it doesn't look too bad. So right there now I get the blade square and straight, but the snow is falling off both sides. So I have to go back to clean that window up. Both of those windrows. Want to go for the rocks, Mike? Oh yeah, good job, good job. <laughs> so uh, the lighting is terrible here. <laughs> Just one sec to go in the shop. Maybe we can see better. There we go. That's a little better, eh? Uh, it wasn't a bad night. I like plowing at night, eh? It's really, really nice. Just the way the light casts across the snow, it looks so nice. But anyway, I'm sure glad you were able to join me tonight. We had about six or eight inches of snow here and uh, it was uh, pretty easy to plow. Uh, I was gonna plow it today, but I wanted to wait till nighttime, so. Thanks for tuning in. I sure hope you're having a great week wherever you are. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can always hit that subscribe button. That would be nice. And a thumbs up is always appreciated. 
as well as comments. So fill her up. Take care, folks. We'll talk to you soon.